Welcome back to the channel. I'm Roger. Hope you're having a great day today. It's pretty warm out, so I want to get some work done down here where we put our logs, get things cleaned up to get ready for the next load to come in. And have these couple pallets here. Have some other ones also that need cut up. These here are some really nice pallets, but they're oddball dimensions. And this one here is really big, but it's really light duty, so it's not usable. And this one is so narrow that I have to adjust the forks in on the tractor. I like to have all the pallets the same size where I don't have to move the forks around. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these pallets up. I used to use an old junk Poland gas powered chainsaw, pretty much just abuse it because it, it was on its last leg and just cut down through the pallets. But it's kind of on its last leg as I mentioned, so it doesn't work that good. And when you're cutting pallets, you you cut a little bit, then you have to stop and pick up stuff. So you have the gas saw and you either have to shut it off or restart it or shut it off and restart it or just leave it running the whole time. And it's kind of annoying listening to the saw run when it's not doing anything. So I'm gonna use a little bit different method today. I'm going to use my Chemo 20 volt handheld chainsaw Showed this in previous video, works really good for pruning trees, works good alongside a small chipper on a tractor. And I also like using it to cut pallets because when you're not using it, you don't have a gas engine sitting there running. And just cutting thin pallets, it's not super slow cutting, so it does a pretty good job at it. So I'll go ahead and drag a pallet out here and get started. Then I'll throw the pallets in this wagon I have a bunch I want to cut up and want to try to get a bunch of them burn up this year, but it's getting pretty warm now, maybe tough to do. This pallet's really nice. You can see it's oak, but again, just odd dimensions.
Well, as I was making my last cut, the saw stopped cutting and they would get through, but you can see the battery died. So it took exactly two batteries to cut this wagon load of wood. And this is a pretty small battery. So I think that's pretty good that did all that cutting off of two batteries. What I like to do with this saw, since it is an electric saw, it's not really a 100% duty cycle. They don't give a duty cycle rating on it. By duty cycle, I mean how much you can use it. So like 100% would be 60 minutes out of an hour. I like to cut one pallet and then stack it in the wagon. That way it gives it a little time to cut or cool off because this saw is designed to be a pruning saw. So most people are gonna cut like one branch off and then that's going to be it for a bit and then they'll go cut another branch or something. It's not going to be a continuous use saw like I'm using it here to cut a pallet up. So that just gives it a little time to cool off so you don't burn the saw up. I don't know if it has anything for an overheating protection on it or not. Really like this saw for the ability to, to bring the pallets in and cut them up versus even using a corded saw because you don't have a cord to drag around and I can cut them up while it's dark like it is now, raining, cold, whatever, inside the garage where it's warm. If you're interested in purchasing one of these saws, I'll have the link down in the video description. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed.